Okay, welcome everybody. We are we are we are we are we are we are. I figured that um, since the Fishy Mancer video recently got a lot of reception, so I figured why show off a couple of boss gameplays and all this stuff when I can just do a playthrough and we can you guys can see uh, the Fishy Mancer grow from the ground up. So that's basically what I'm doing with this. It's weird starting from scratch, but um, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so, basically, since you guys already know, I don't know, why is it going to internal mic? Okay. So I don't know why the mic just decided to give out for a second there. Apologies for that. I'm just going to keep my eye on it. I'm hoping to God that this Yeti isn't screwed. I mean, I kind of just always kept it plugged into my desktop and then I would plug it in when I'm getting ready to do anything so I'm just gonna keep watch for that so I have nothing I actually have to attack with my wand there we go how many skeletons can I get to start off just one yeah next level's two okay we're gonna be maxing it so now I know why that Fishy Mancer video was so low. Because the mic just kept go going in and out. Alright, we were gonna. Since I only have one, I kinda have to do a little bit of the work. So I think for each part, uh, this, is, this one's just called the intro. But. I think we're gonna do maybe three quests per video. That seems very doable so this is going to be a very short playthrough considering all of the ones that I actually managed to complete again I appreciate all the reception that the Diablo 2 videos get I really like doing them I really love this game um, and that's another thing you guys might be like well shit didn't you quit that, that's right, this is my, um, not my first gaming video back, it's my second, I believe. No, it's my third, actually, because I put up the 2K22, then I put up the Fishy Mancer, and then I put up the, uh, entrance for a call that I made on 2K22. So this is my fourth gaming video back, but this is the first one with commentary. So basically what happened is I just took seven months off. I got, um, I was, I got pretty burnt out. I was streaming every day to try and build my twitch channel and then i was doing this also i was doing the youtube stuff and it just it was it was an overload for me i didn't really know how to portion everything out since i was very new to the twitch and all that stuff i kind of just wanted to put out as much as possible We have two skeletons. That's the beauty of this build, is we're going to be maxing out our skeletons right off rip. Uh, I want to bind this to square. I'm going to keep these points here, just because I don't know. Actually, I have my laptop right next to me, so just one moment. Okay, so I did a little reading, and it said the strength. Let me just double check. Yes, you want to put the strength up to 36, just so you can wear ring mail. So we're going to do that. I will be likely doing... I'm not going to say it's for sure, but I kind of want to do a Fury Druid build as well. Or not build, but a uh, playthrough of that. We'll start from scratch. And I think, like, at the end of the playthrough, or whatever... I will, 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 Okay, for some odd reason when I move the cord, I'm really hoping nothing's wrong with the cord, there shouldn't be. The mic just crapped out for a second there, I think as I moved it, or I touched it from the, where it's connected. But, uh, it still says Yeti, so. Anyways, what I was saying is, um. I will probably include at the end of the playthrough basically what your character's gonna end up being. 
by the time you beat Nightmare and all that stuff, or when you get up to Nightmare and then you're working your way onto Hell. Now I think like up to three skeletons is when you're gonna have to en end up uh, not doing any more of the work. But basically when you get an XP shrine you do want to be the first to help out because you want to get as much enemies killed as possible. Get as much XP as you can get. And another thing is I might do uh, grinding off camera, and then I will, well I don't even have to keep log of um, my skill points, because I'm just going to be maxing out skeletons. That's your first one that you max out. So you guys won't miss anything skill wise, I mean my, my, um, my character, my stats, that's what I meant to say, not skills. My stats will be higher, obviously, but... I shouldn't have any crazy gear. I mean, I just don't want you guys to have to endure all of that leveling, even though it's not that bad, but it's, uh, it's just a lot of the same area over and over again, sort of farming, I would say. And I just don't want to just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. Just to sort of not start boredom uh, or start bore, uh, boring moments in the playthrough itself. Just kind of keep everything upbeat. But And if I do do some grinding, it'll only be like a couple levels. I'm not talking like tons of levels. Because the Necromancer can level up very fast and very quickly. So we just want to keep doing Skeleton. We can do three now. And we just want to look for XP shrines. So you want to just look around that little yellow icon in the top right corner. Exploding shrine, we don't want that. We do want this mana shrine though. Just to keep our skeletons revived. But that's kind of the thing with the necromancer and the druid. Is you just want to walk around and just let your skeletons kill things. Just kind of scoop up as much levels as possible early on. We want to get that Fallen killed, and then we want to up our strength. Because maybe some, because I think some little, a couple portions there that I have to help my skeletons out. No biggie. I will have to make sure that I buy a Tome of Town portal so I can go there to repair my stuff, because let's just check on the wand here. Okay, we got a uh, good amount of durability there. That's not too bad. We're only 10 minutes in, we're not, um, losing any time. So really, it's just like, I can't really move the mic a lot. If I do that, then you won't be able to hear me. And I think that's exactly what happened in the Fishy, Fishy Mancer boss showcase that I had. So yes, that's basically what 2023 is going to bring. A lot of consistency. I'm going to try to be as... Do I remain consistent? I've seen so many people, like, grow their channels over the last year. And it's just like, fuck, I could have I could have been part of that. So I'm kind of just doing playing catch-up right now. So this shill give us an extra level up. Which... I want to put in my skeletons. Just to kind of get it as quickly maxed as possible. I think three skeletons you still you still gotta help out as you can see. And I don't really have any armor or anything as of yet. I haven't been lucky enough to find anything. Oh, we got leather gloves here. That's good. Just as I said that, we will sell whatever we don't need to get that easy quick gold. A lot of walking and running. So yeah, just as per normal, the first and last parts will be the la uh, longest parts. 
there isn't there wasn't a cinematic for the beginning of this which was odd because i think usually there is unless maybe the game knows that you've beaten it and it doesn't start it off so i don't have to include the cinematics I can kind of just fill you guys in, like the first boss of Act 1 is Andariel, which you guys saw in the boss showcase. You, you guys basically know all the bosses that are in the game, because I showed them off, so. That's basically what each act kind of represents, like you're kind of getting the stones and all of that stuff to end up killing the, the brothers, I guess. Mephisto, Bale, and Diablo. Oh, is that? Yeah, Corpse Fire. Damn, I don't have any spells or anything, so I kinda... I think he's Cold Enchanted as well. Oh, crap. Yep. I didn't realize that I was taking that much damage. Oh, my skeletons are dead. I just noticed that. The zombies will inherit Corpse Fire's abilities. I just don't know what it is yet. Let's kill a couple of these zombies. Oh yeah, my gloves are already broken. I'm gonna die. Okay, that's right. Perfect. Keep our party up. Do not touch Corpse Fire. I think he's cold enchanted. Oh yeah, Spectral Hit. Perfect, level up. Give me that. Four skeletons? Nope, they're just buffed up though. Better than nothing. You'll scare me, Corpse Fire. Get him out of here. We already got a Legendary. I don't know why that was in my hopper. We already got a Cap. I gotta identify it. Perfect. One to energy. We're not mad at that. Keep putting our strength up. Yeah, his name's Draws in YT just for YouTube, so when I if I play offline or whatever, I'll know exactly what character is which. My gloves are broken, but their defense wasn't that high anyway. What was their defense? Like one? Yeah. So no rush to get back there and fix anything. But we do have to clear this den. 14 minutes, not bad. All the other parts aren't going to be as long as this, so... You guys don't have to worry about that, because everything's going to get a lot easier. Our skeletons are stronger as of right now. I think that uh, falls off, I think it's every three levels or so. Or it might be every second level that um, it boosts the skeletons up and it doesn't give you another one. But there's a certain fall-off point. I think it's like at level 20. You can only have 10 skeletons, but then when you start synergizing that with skeleton mastery, then you get a golem as an off-tank. You're golden. And then now we're going to probably get another skeleton because we just did this quest. So that's one of the quests done right there. Is that Two more. To earn your own trust? Mm, Akara, that's her name. Thank you, Akara. Free skill point. Oh, we still have three skeletons. All right. I think that would have been a perfect time to maybe invest in. Mm, I should have invested in ant damage for that because that was a free skill. And I accidentally scrolled past that. Basically, her people were getting killed and Blood Raven. This is basic. This is just me guessing, because sometimes I kind of just scroll through it myself. But I should basically give you the quest to go kill Blood Raven. Okay, Charcy doesn't have a quest for me yet. So now we're just gonna sell all this stuff. Oh, I didn't pick up that short bow, did I? I kind of just walked past it. But you always want to sell those big potions. They're worth a lot of money. Uh, we can repair our shit. We want to do that. We'll repair this jewel. Don't need that. And we do want a key. We don't have a sash or anything. I'm hoping that when we kill Andariel that we can get a string of ears early. Even though we can't necessarily use it. So now we have the money to get two tomes. I'm just going to buy one of each. And they're exactly third in the exact spots I like them. Except I like them like that. Here we go. 
And then we can fill our book. Our books. I thought I only had scroll town portal. Uh, the green and blue gems we do not need for right now. So we'll get rid of them. Those are good for combining runes at higher levels. But right now I don't need them. We did not get the Cold Plains Waypoint. Mm. Yes. I will go back in here. So yeah, the next levels I should be at four skeletons. Because I think it was two skill points now. That buffed them up. But you always want to do that in any game that has loot. Especially when you learn the game a little bit, you don't want to. The items that you do not need, just always sell them. Because when there's something in the shops that you can buy, and you don't have the gold for, it's heartbreaking. So you always want to make sure you have the cheese. Keep an eye on the XP bar too, you can see how the skills go up. Or let's just watch. Like you can see that right there, went up quite a bit. But still at level 4, you will get a good amount of increase. What the... How the hell did we find a legendary wand already? If it has one race skeleton? No. Damn. That's not a good wand. Not at all. Not for me anyway. Not for this build, unfortunately. That is unfortunate. I haven't tried a lot of farming yet, because that's kind of what burned me out on this, or on just gaming in general, is I just would always farm for hours at a time on this game, and they were really stingy. Like, Borderlands 2 is so much better for farming, like, sometimes you think that can be stingy. This is the most stingiest I've ever seen farming in the games just that I've played. I could be wrong just in general with games uh, being stingy, and you guys might have played some way worse games for stingy farming, but... This is by far the worst for me. So we just want to clear all the areas. Just XP sweep. Oh man, oh hell yeah. We'll take that. Yeah, we kind of want to make sure that we maybe skill... F uh, excuse me, if I can speak. We want to make sure we have four skeletons before we fight Blood Raven. We don't have an off tank or a mercenary to help us, so... A mercenary is really good to have. And I'm gonna definitely give... Ooh, I'm definitely gonna give my mercenary insight the moment that I am able to. We already got a big one. Oh, he's... Oh, my God. Yeah, he's strong. We want to be careful attacking him. Get him, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we're keep reviving. Hit as best as you can. Don't die on me. Don't you die on me. Okay, good, good. I can't use this yet. Attack him from behind. There you go. Cheat. We just need one more skeleton, baby. Our numbers are building. You guys, your guys' numbers are decreasing. As long as he doesn't hit me, I'm fine. We have another body to replace. He's gonna give a nice chunk. There we go, we'll take that. We have boots now. Perfect. The juice was well worth the squeeze on that kill. That's another little tip, too, that if there is a named enemy like that, a unique, all the same enemies around him will share his XP pool. So if you get a nice chunk of XP from one of them, you'll get it from the rest of them, which I thought was a nice little touch. I wouldn't mind getting a sash and something else. We get another cave. That's excellent. That's another level up, likely. We're going to scoop that up. You fallen shamans, get the fuck out of here.
Yeah, if this doesn't tickle your fancy, look at that. You can play in the old graphics. <laughs> Which is crazy to think, like, we thought that was the shit back in the day. So we're not too bad on the time. I'm got, I got 22 minutes, almost 23. So yeah, we're definitely probably gonna get up to four skeletons after maybe this group. There's a lot of people here. Quilted armor, yes! Just when I was speaking about I needed armor. Can you hit somebody, you idiot? He's just walking around. Okay. I don't have room. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll equip that for dexterity. Uh, superior quilted. That's a socketed, but we don't need that right now. Oh, I'm wearing it. That's defense 10, but that is socketed. And... It'll be better to have in case we find a topaz. If we get lucky and find a topaz, that'll increase our magic find. And we want the magic find for sure. Um, I'm walking. I was wondering why I was so slow. I'm so used to using my high level characters and getting so much more gold than this. want to uncover the whole map another thing too as long as you stay on this difficulty when you explore like a whole map like this it'll stay highlighted like this and it'll change when i go to like say nightmare or hell which makes farming a hell of a lot easier and look at this we're gonna wait till we get another level for that so we can start nice and fresh Ah, uh, my stamina. Fortunately, the level after this one, I'll be able to increase that. So I'm just getting up to 36, like the guide said. That's exactly what it is. It's a fishy mancer playthrough from the ground up. So you guys can see it in its full entirety, I should have said. And it's full, fuck. Oh, there's two XP shrines. Perfect. We'll scoop both of those up. <laughs> that is excellent. Sometimes they get really, really... Um, I can't think of the word. I'm blacking out. Generous. That's what it was. Now we have four skeletons. Perfect. They get very generous with the XP shrines in this game sometimes. Oh, Bishy Bosh. He has a tendency to drop something nice. Look at that. Yellow Javelin. That's good money. Y'all are going to start to realize that your numbers are going to go down even quicker. Because my skeletons are just going to keep getting stronger. Because there's portions of the map that you want to go to and you want to use to farm. Not farm, or, yeah, farm XP, excuse me. I was going to say farm equipment. So Tristram is one level, is one spot that I think at level 10 to 15, you just keep going through that. So that's the part I'm not going to record. I'm only going to record the quests. After I'm competent, like I'm, I'm recording this stuff. But uh, that's only just to get my levels up. Stuff like that. Okay, get the bar. Use a couple of these. We kind of want to go to town to get rid of that that stuff we have. The arrows and the bolts. Because so I want to pick up this charm. It might have magic find. Six poison damage. Since I don't attack, that's useless to me. And we were standing around while we had an XP shrine. Crack Sash, perfect. That might get a second bar for healing. Will it? It will. Let's fill it. You just always want to make sure you walk around as fast as possible when you have an XP shrine. Oh, ring. Perfect. Alright, we're getting nice and kitted here to start out. I'm not even mad at it. Oh, we leveled up, didn't we? One, two, 
three, four, five. Oh, you can ins they added an update where you can just put all the points in one thing. You don't have to do it singly. Okay. Now that quilted armor, does that have more than one socket? Just has one. Okay. One less defense as well. I don't know if I want to walk all the way back to get that XP shrine or not because it's just so far back. I should have gotten it and then ran up. Because by the time I walk all the way up here, it's going to be worn off anyway. That was poor planning on my part. We want to make sure our skeletons are nice and buffed before we fight Blood Raven because I don't have amp damage, I don't have slow to carpify. So I'll have to grind Talrash's tomb. And then before I fight Duriel, I want to make sure I have to crapify. What is the prerequisite to that? All of these. I think it's 22, because then it's 20... Yeah, because it's 22, and then 23, 24... Okay, 24, so it's at level 19. You want to make sure you have that, and then you can get 20, 21, 22. Or no, was I right? A 21? Yeah, it's within 22, 23, 24, okay. Just to make sure I do everything right. And not fuck it up. Because although the grinding isn't bad at the higher levels, because you have a stronger army, it's just this monotonous that you don't want to have to go through. See, I wish another XP shrine was close. I got all these people here. Oh, shit. I don't want to get ganged. I want to stay close to my people. That's better. But we'll kill all the enemies that are killable. I'll take care of the shaman. Perfect. Okay. We have no more scrolls. Uh, mm, please tell me that's already identified. Yes, it is. Thank you. I can't carry what? I don't need to fucking... I gotta have the bolts. I don't even think we got the waypoint in the coal plains yet. We want to make sure we get that. Scoop that up. Yeah, so if there is cutscenes when I go to the next axe and things like that, I'll just include those. But for some reason, it didn't include an intro one. Which is weird to me. Oh, skill shrine. Perfect. I can get probably another skeleton, right? Nope. They're stronger, though. Hold on. A skill shrine is two. Yeah. I can still only have four? They really made sure to not make you overpowered as fuck. Off the jump. I identified the wrong ring. Shit. Because I didn't need that one. The max damage is kind of useless to me because I'm not attacking. As much as my skeletons are. So, I just have to put one more point in strength. And then I put some in... I think it's vitality that I mostly invest in. But I kind of have to see what, what the gear is. And then that can dictate my point distribution. We might as well go in this cave here. Mmm. I think that bitch is in here. I forget her name. But she's a really strong enemy. And I'm going to need a lot of dead bodies around. Let's go put that fulminating potion for sure. If it sounds like I'm in teach mode, I apologize. I'm kind of always in teach mode when it's a game that I know a decent amount about. Skeleton's still at four. That's good. I can't carry anymore. Can't carry anymore. Oh my god, I need to go back to town. Alright. We want to go to Cassia so we can get Order welcomes you. our stuff sold. Well, first we want to buy some scrolls. Hold the buy in bulk. How much does that buy? Wow, what? They actually put that feature in the game? 
I never knew all of this. That is amazing. Attack rating, don't care about that. Fire resist is good, we'll have that. Sell these, get a nice chunk of gold. Move that over here. We want to put our charms here. We'll sell this key, because we already have a max one. Fill the sash. Sometimes it doesn't do it. That sells for five grand, so now we're, we're pretty set. So we're just going to fill our shit here. That is a good feature. It saves a lot of time. Uh, oh, we want to sell that fulminating potion. Those sell for a lot of money. The fulminating and the other ones, you always hold on to to sell. Just to have that easy money in the beginning. Use that up. We don't need that. Alright, skeletons. We want to make sure all our money is deposited every time we come to town. Oh yeah, I got shared loot, don't I? I can't use any of it. I can use those boots. Hot spur boots. I can use this wand. Oh my god. I can use the torch of Eero. But you know what? That's not a true playthrough, is it? We don't want to have any advantages off the jump. All found gear over here. The rejuves are good to pick up too because you can put them in the um, Herodric cube and then you can make full potions out of that. I think my levels are good. I'm just going to turn it down just a smidge just to see. Okay, one decibel should be good. I might have been too loud. I apologize if I was. I mean, I kind of look. I really hope my cord isn't fucked. Because I don't want to have to buy another Yeti mic. I was really happy that I managed to get one. And then it's like, oh, I barely used it. <laughs> I did, like, I barely used the thing. That's a double socketed? Yes, please, mate. All I need to do is find a Topaz now. I just need to find one or two Topazes. Topaz, Topaz. That's basically why I have to make sure I can wear chain armor. And then if I find Topazes, then I can increase my magic find. You guys know the rest. Allows me to get better items and such. Better items means an easier playthrough. Diablo might be a little bit of a fucker, but we're gonna see. Because I will be doing grinding off camera, so I'm not gonna be going in there just with weak leveling. And I urge all of you to do the same. Really, before, really when you get to Act 3 and 4 is when you want to start really taking advantage of the grinding. Act 2, honestly, I would say. Like, Act 1 feels like a tutorial. Like, the whole act feels like a tutorial. And then, uh, 2, 3, 4, and 5 is when the game really starts. So, basically, after this act, Act 1, you want to really take advantage of grinding in any way, shape, and form that you can do it. Put, like, a laptop beside you or something, get some music going, and just farm, 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 and grind, grind, grind. Because when I fought Duriel as a kid, he turned me off to the whole game because I couldn't beat him. Because my build was shit. And I didn't really know anything about builds then. <laughs> I'm just going to double check the build here. So, after a certain point, I just want to know if all the skill points go into Vitality.
Okay. I did a little reading. So... You won't always keep the, the, the blocking up to around 75% it said in the playthrough by the time you get to hell, so... I can put points in vitality as well. It says just put your extra points there, but... I should be fine with what I'm doing right now. I can't carry anymore. Now you can. Stop bitching. Please give me five skeletons this next level up. I'd love to have five of you fuckers. Kill the ranger. We want to kill the shamans. That hand axe. Dead rogue. Check the body. Oh, why is that? Mm. I didn't want that on my hotbar. Okay, so 36, perfect. Now we can equip chainmail. And the rest in the vitality. Now we're a little stronger for health wise. Oh, our damage goes up a lot for Ray Skeleton. Perfect. I am over the boots. Oh, I can't wear those. Well, those have dexterity. Fill the belt. Even though it doesn't fill it. So we're getting kitted up pretty nice here to start off. There it is, Cold Crow. That's her name. Those rangers all have cold damage on them too. They're so annoying to deal with. You just have to make sure you don't get hit, honestly. Yes, gang, 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 gang. If they can gang one of them and kill them, that's perfect. That's all we need. We just need to keep them... Keep their numbers really low. There we go, perfect. Got one down. Their numbers are decreasing. There's another one down. Perfect. Less of them to hit. Yes, another one down. Perfect. Don't get Cold Crow right now. Kill the Royal Rangers first. There's another body right there. We could use that. Kill the Hungry Dead. There we go. We have a body. They hit you with such precision, too. That's the most annoying part. Now that she's not going to be focused on me. Get back here. You're not getting away. I gotta corner you. She's cold enchanted. Yeah. You tried. I just remembered that. That cold enchant will kick your ass and kill you. Three to energy. Puts my health up. We'll take that. No, you're not. There's a little bit of reorganizing. We'll sell that. So Cold Crow was really my worry. Yeah, you rangers don't got cold, now you don't got shit. They dropped something. Boots. Nothing. Trash. Definitely want to put some into vitality so I can be able to run longer. Anything with faster movement, hit recovery, all that good stuff. Ow! You wait until my skeletons get one more level. I think one more level is when they're going to really start kicking up.
All right, the second level. There's another guy in here, too. Did I forget his name? Ooh. Okay, we'll take these. Oh, they have cold damage. Fucking hell. I don't like that little fallen. But we do want bodies. Fucking kill her. Please, get her out of here. They're new they're nuisances. Yes, I. She's new. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I gotta gotta. There's so many powerful fucking rangers here. Can we agree that arrows in any game is fucking OP as shit? I think we can all agree on that. In every game where there's arrows, and you get hit, you are Foxville. Get bodies. That's what we need. She's got a lot of these fucking rangers, dude. My dexterity's so shit. I need to increase that probably the next level. I still, need to keep, I still need to help these fuckers out. Excuse me, you can use it, because we have bodies. There's a shaman. Let's get him out of here. Oh my god, my skeletons are low. I didn't even pay attention to that. I was wondering why no one was dying. Another one gone. These bitches are too strong, bro. Just get rid of one. There you go. Don't go after Death's Eye. Go after the other ones. At least this bitch here. She's too fucking strong. We have a unique, and then we have a uh, uh, named. Where did she... Oh, she's right in front of me. I thought she disappeared on me. Now they have cold damage. Who? When? I'm cornered. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Hit recovery. Shit. I almost fell into a bad trap. That's some beginner shit that I almost fell for. Oh, we had a random dark ranger. I don't know where you came from. But you for sure can kiss my ass. Once we get rid of this gas, this go ghastly, ghostly one, she's done. Death's eye, death eye, you're next. Get that bullshit spectral hit that I'm not a fan of. And you have cold damage somehow. Oh my fuck! That was on my hopper. I hate when the to I hate when the portal goes on the hopper, because I never mean to use it. I guess it was my fault for picking it up. Oh, of course they're ethereal. Great. One to dexterity. Only two. Uh, more armor. Oh, big body. So that's done. Blood Raven's gonna tear us apart. <laughs> so maybe we're not gonna be doing three quests per video because I, I just realized that I'm almost an hour into this one. So I think after we do this, um, go back to town, and in the next video we'll cover Blood Raven. I'm definitely investing in vitality so I can run. Sucks not being able to run. When I'm in town, I'll actually do a little bit of shopping. See what it's, uh... You want to know the best part? I can just go back to town right here. <laughs> I don't even have to run. Because um, I have the waypoint to the coal plains. Alright, we're back. So, we can 
go to Charcy. Always repair when you go back to town. And now we can wear ring mail. Which we're definitely going to do. I know that's socketed, but I'm taking too much damage right now. I can afford it. It's four grand. I have all this stuff to sell. We're going to identify the club, and then we can sell it. Even though it's not worth anything. Sell the gems. We need potions. I might go to a car and buy a couple of those. We'll see what... Ooh, I can buy this instead. That has one energy, though. I appreciate the energy. What else? What else? Okay, we'll go to Akara, see what we're rocking with. Why well, don't I have my wand? What? Oh. Okay. I was confused. I pressed R3 by accident. <laughs> you guys do not know how scared I just got. Uh, ooh, there's wands I can buy. Wonder Ray Skeleton and that Skeleton and Mastery? What other ones is there? Because that'll increase my skeleton's power. Whoa, choose the right skeleton. Whoa, 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 whoa. Five grand, fuck. Faster cast rate, damn. Okay. We can afford this one, though. We'll grab this one. Sell this one. Grab this one. Perfect. So what's the skeleton mastery do the one so far? Magic, damage, or not magic, um, damage and life, of course. We're gonna get that just so we can have it. I gotta sit up straight. My fucking back's gonna kill me. So we are definitely more better suited for battle now. We're just gonna keep picking up stuff and selling it. Because if I can manage to get stuff at the vendors, that's what I'm gonna do. Because it's much better for me in the long run. Now is this stony, stony field or burial grounds? The burial grounds. Many empty graves. I think we're ready for Blood Raven. Then we can get our mercenary to help us out. Once we do this. Because we are not ready for Decker Kane, not right now. I have to look up the video that has the levels to farm. Because when I go to Tristram, that's just what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do some farming. I'm going to do that off camera, of course. And then when I'm the proper level. After we rescue Deckard Kane, I'm going to. We're going to go into Act 2 or to Andariel. I think it's like level 15 or so. From around level 10 or 12 that you just farm levels. You guys don't have to watch me just keep doing this tedious stuff. Even though I don't. I, I, I love doing it, of course. I never get sick of this game, but. Except for that, except for when I took my break, but you know what I mean. This can get a little dicey because she can revive these guys, but again, they're dead bodies. So if she kills any, we have, or kills any of my skeletons, then we have some revives on hand. We want to just get them destroyed so then my people can gang her and kill her. Come on, Blood Raven. Come here. I have to walk because my stamina's low. Oh, she's raising. You kind of have to corner her. Like, you have to kind of circle her like this so she can't really run. Yeah, she's stuck. Oh, she was. Yeah, always try to circle her. Yes! Dead. Look at all that stuff. I can sell all that. Now, clear these crypts before I redeem the mission. And then we will be done the intro. We almost did three uh, three quests. 
We almost did. But that is okay. I have enough D2 videos up that if you guys want to see more D Diablo 2 content, it'll be in there. I think I will... I will make this playlist, obviously, a playthrough playlist. And then just, like, build videos and just me playing around with my other characters is on another playlist. It's just called Diablo 2 Resurrected, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll have the link of uh, that. Or actually, I won't have the link. I'll have, the, um, I'll have it at the end of the video. The playlist. It'll be on the screen somewhere at the end. Oh, he's named, he's named, he's named, he's named. That's around him. He's cold enchanted too. I have to keep an eye on his health. That cold enchant will fuck your day. That's what cold enchant means. It, yeah, he does that circle, that aura after that you kill him, and that can kill you. So just make sure that you're not too close. Hungry dead, get the fuck out. This game is a little... It's its not as easy as just say like a Borderlands 2 is to start off early. Or to start fresh. Borderlands 2 is much more pick up and play. Because this game is like if your build's not good, you're kind of screwed. If you uh, don't have any more respecs left. The game gives you three respects, and that's one in each difficulty. Perfect. Please. Ah, uh, okay, perfect. We got that. And we want to put some in vitality. And put one in dexterity. Because I do need dexterity for certain gear. These guys are getting beefy, though. They're starting to eat their Wheaties now. Never a bad thing. I kind of low-key want to do Resident Evil 8 Village again, just so I can play it on my monitor. Because when I first played it, it was uh, done on... It was done on just my TV. What am I doing? I can sell these. So yeah, we're just going to clear these crypts real quick, get our quest redeemed, and then that is the first video. We have an amulet. Oh, hell yes. Give me that. Three more to energy. That gives me some extra mana that I don't have to invest points in. Okay. All skeletons, get in here. Assemble. We'll get all the XP from the other skeletons. What are you? Do you have cold enchantment? You probably do, because everybody does. Oh, mana burn. Ew. I want to just make sure there's dead bodies. Um, those done. Kill him. Perfect. Get the barrels destroyed. You can find good stuff in barrels. Mana. Oh, I wanted that fulminating potion. Because I can sell it. I do have plus premium as well, so I'll probably, I'll try, I'm not going to make any promises, but uh, that will allow me to play a lot of games for content, so. If there's any games that you guys want to see, maybe do some research what's on the plus premium games that might interest you, and then I might, I might play them. Even if it's one I'm not necessarily interested in, if there's like, if you guys want to see it, I'll put it out doesn't bother me I enjoy making content I got the monitor and the screen and all in the mic to do all this stuff so it'll help grow the channel I'm all for it uh, okay we have one more crypt to go through our health is looking pretty good I do like the chain mail that I got the Necromancer has really cool armor. The Druid does too. The Assassin has decent armor. I like the look of the Assassin. 
That's another character I like to show off too. The lightning traps and... I kind of want to do a build video on all of my characters. I'm pretty, I have one of each. And I covered my fishy. I covered my druid. But he's way stronger now. I covered my boas on. I haven't covered the sorceress. I covered the barbarian. So I think it's just the assassin and the sorceress I never covered. So I might get those just recorded. And I'll upload them. Whenever. I know how to do that community post now, so I'll keep you guys updated when I'm going to be uploading and things like that. I'm usually just going to record and then update maybe two days later. I kind of want to upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And then, uh... On the other days, that's when I do my recording. That's just a spitball. It's just an idea I had. Bonebreaker. What do you got? Magic resistant, extra strong. Okay. He has good shit, though. Drop something good. A whole lot of nothing. Alright, our gold's looking good though. We're getting we're getting uh, a lot of a lot of cake, a lot of change. Keep our potions high. Strangling gas potion, yes please. Dead rogue. The barrels are nice to kick too to st uh, stop you from getting stuck. Cause a lot of these enemies you'll get stuck just out of random running away from them, and then you'll get caught on a barrel and shit and you'll die. That's happened to me more than a couple of times. Mostly in the Act 2. In all the crypts. So I'm pretty sure the next level I'll have five skeletons. That's when I think the game's going to start to change. Small charm. Please have magic find on it. Dexterity, we'll take it. I still have to attack. My skeletons aren't of plenty yet. I think I can break the chain and use and get the amp curse. I think that would be nice to have early on. So I'm kind of useless. Cause I don't do a ton of damage because my strength's only at like 36 right now, just so I can equip chain armor. And once I get access to certain gear, I'll need to up it even more. I'll have to look on my fishy mancer, my current one, and then just write down um, my skill points. Because I already have the dexterity to where I need it, I have the strength to where I need it. And then I'm just putting points in vitality now, so I think if I just go, I'll, I'm gonna do that. Likely before I film the next video. So then I know more of what I'm doing, and then I can just distribute my points better. You're at an hour. Perfect. The rest of the parts will not be this long, I assure you. They'll probably be around 25, 30 minutes. Maybe 35, 40 minutes. So, I would say between 25 and 45 minutes. And I will be, uh, I will not be showing any of the grinding. Just to reiterate. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. I can just go back to town. I don't know why I'm doing this. Skeletons, you better fuck off. We might as well identify all this stuff so we can sell it. Blood Raven dropped a nice little windfall of stuff. I would go kill those skeletons up there, but we're already going a little long as it is. Okay, where was the stony field? Was it up here? Am I tripping?
Yeah, I think I should. I think I should invest early into that. Just that one curse, because you just need to get one point in it. Yeah, you just need one point in amp damage. You don't need anything more. Because <laughs> to give them, to give the skeletons more damage would be crucial. Crucial, viable, all those words. <laughs> I could honestly, pl I could honestly do like a two-hour video, but I'm not gonna do that to you guys. <laughs> not when I just came back out of retirement. I kind of don't want to burn myself out of this. That's kind of want. That's kind of kind of why I want to um do the classic games and all that, just to break monotony. I'm only gonna be doing maybe one at a time, counting this. So I'll do this and then like a classic game if you guys want it. I appreciate all the reception on the 2K stuff too. That's 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 awesome because I, I just like being creative on that. I don't really like doing a lot of the like I don't need to really do a lot of the matches. I mean it, it's fun. It plays well. 2K22. It's it's solid. It's more solid than I thought it was gonna be. But um, I have a lot of fun making the creative wrestlers when it works and just showcasing all the characters I've created in um, 2K17, 18, and 19. Which you guys likely have saw that already. I'm uploading that first, and then I'm uploading this after. He might be cold, Janet. No, he's just extra strong. Kill him. Okay. And if one of these is an XP shrine, I'm staying on. <laughs> Until I get a level up, and look at that. So I'm just going to run around and get as much killed as possible. We can snag another level up before the video's over. We'll mind getting a nice rock and issue kill. Get that little boost of XP. Moon Clan, die. Thank you. 22 gold. Our gold is starting to increase. Rock and issue. Let's get it. You like me, enchant it. I need definitely something with hit recovery. Hopefully some charms. Carvers to share his XP pool. See, as you can see, the Carvers have give that much XP per kill. It's like I mentioned before, they share the XP of Rock and Issue. I can't use this yet. You, you really think you're just gonna? I'm just gonna let you kill my skeleton? And you walk away? I have more. And also, I got the big uh, XP booster from my little shrine there above my head. So I'm glad I got a Rock and Nishu kill in. Now, if I can get my five skeletons, then I won't get the amp damage right now. But if I can't, then I might as well just get it now. That can be more of a help to my team. That's supposedly what the fishy mancer is, man. He just hangs back, casts spells, and has a big army. But the druid has the best army. Considering now all the summons you can have. I'll be definitely showing that off. Ooh, look at all those legendaries I'm getting. These drops are incredible. There must have been like a big patch. That should be a level up. Coming up soon. A couple more kills. There we go. Let me get another skeleton. Five. Had to do it. So next level we'll get amp damage. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. Did I get the stony field waypoint? I don't remember if I did or not. I got so excited with that uh, shrine. Oh, might as well pick up this buckler. Might as well. I don't have a skeleton or an offhand. Oh, I got these points, don't I? 
Uh, one, two, three, four, and then one in decks. Because I know my decks isn't supposed to be that low. So I know I can invest points into it. For certain gear. Which I know what gear I need. I'm basically just following my current build. I do not have the waypoint yet, so we're just going to get the waypoint and then go back to town, and then we're done. Just let our skeletons do all the work. That's what they're here for. I'm going to make sure I'm putting it in vitality and not energy, because energy you don't put any points into. And I was wondering why it was an uneven number, because I'm only putting in uh, four and then one in dexterity. So when I do have to hit, I can actually connect. Ooh, speed. Oh, that makes me unlimited stamina. Okay. I don't know why I thought it was gonna make me faster. Come on, waypoint. Where are you? I need this video to end. Oh, come on. Come on, boys. Come eat. Get you some. Y'all are lucky I don't have that amp damage right now. I should have got that the first skill I had. Then my skeleton would have been strong right off rip. But it's fine, it's fine. One to dexterity. We don't need that because we have three to energy. That's better. Puts up my mana. Mana is an absolute necessity for the druid, the sorceress, and the necromancer. And the bow was on, I would say. For multi-shot. Multi-shot's a fucking awesome skill. I think I can put, like, poles and stuff in the community thing, so that's what I might do as well. Or just leave your comments on them. Like, I'll just put a thing, like, what game you guys want to see in a playthrough or whatever. I have PlayStation Premium, all that stuff. I can delve into the classics. A lot of games I haven't played, so I would actually like to like to do that. Videos like this you just put in the fucking background because they're so damn long. But I didn't intend to be that long. Chip Topaz. Oh, I don't have socketed. But we'll keep that anyway. We use the rejuve. Grab the topaz. We get our first topaz. That will help out with magic find. So now we can go back to town. Alright. Go to Cassia. Kayako. Okay. Never got her before. Hold up. There was a short bow in the Den of Evil that I can give her. I'm gonna go back and get that. You best believe. But she can't use crossbows, huh? I think she can only use bows. Yeah, she can only use bows. That's fine. There, 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 there. Thank you, Andariel. Or not Andariel. Uh, thank you, Blood Raven, for giving us some nice chunk of stuff. Hold up, that's a dexterity charm. Give me that back. It's two fucking grand. Shit. Shouldn't have sold that. I didn't pay attention. I don't want to blow the two grand right away. We're deposit this, because there might be a chainmail from Charcy that has a socket, and then I can put my topaz in it. Ooh, I like those chain gloves, man. We'll take those. Sell these. Equip them. Ooh, those boots look nice, too. That's two to strength. Okay. Hit recovery. We want that. Because we're not going to be hitting a lot. You bitch. <laughs> Can't complete that request. You better complete it. Okay. Equip. Perfect. Now we got better hit recovery. We're not going to get caught with our pants down anymore. Yeah, you want to save the topazes for the chain mail. But uh, Geed has some stuff. Alright, that's one energy. So we kind of want to match that, if possible. 
That buckler has nothing. We don't really want to go crazy, though, shopping. Plus four slots. Okay, it has plus four slots as well. Mm, I like that cap. Alright, so we got our mercenary. So, guys, I think that'll conclude the very first episode of our Fishy Mancer playthrough. Uh, that is the intro. I hope you guys enjoyed. We have much more in store for this amazing game. And I hope you guys stick with me throughout the whole thing. See you guys in part two.